Oh I, you God, could I mean, argue that the DVD in this case, and you can't do this for a lot of products, but yeah. the art, the DVD might be worth $40. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? For the for the information that you're getting on here. So, uh, yeah, I, amazing product in my opinion. Hello and welcome to another Magic Matchup. I'm Eric Tate alongside Nick Lacapo and Sean Dunn. And as evidenced by the pile of banana coins in front of us today, <laughs> we are talking coin bending devices. Yeah. This is exciting. I think we've all done some coin bending in our time. Tons. I mean, it is a superhuman power that I am known to possess <laughs> on occasion. <laughs> if you've never seen a Magic Matchup before, we take three different uh, devices or uh, Magic props. That One is the budget option, one is the uh, mid-range, uh, mid, mid and then the, we have the premium option. We look at performances, we compare and contrast, and then we form our picks. Today, we are talking Biobender by Eric Jones, Oxbender by Menny Lenenfeld, and Coin Vexed by David Pen. Third generation. Third generation. Coinvext yeah. three. These are all three very cool devices, uh, and uh, we've got some we've got some stuff to talk about. Uh, let's take a look at the budget option. Let's throw to a performance of Eric Jones performing Biobender. Reina, how are you? Good Pretty to good. see you. Uh, have you got any change on you? Maybe a quarter, nickel, dime, penny, quarter, half dollar, dollar, peso. Coins from the Dominican Republic? Okay, you have got a quarter. Do me a favor, uh, take the quarter, I mean, take the pen, and just sign your initials or a smiley face or anything that you want on the coin. That's dope. Okay, and I'll take this back, and I just want to see, what did you sign? What is R? It's a really terrible RA. That's cool. <laughs> so R and an A. So what we're gonna do is, I'll, I'll, you know what, I'll take the pen back first, right? Gonna leave that here, get rid of that, open your hand. I'm just gonna place this right here on the palm of your hand. And if I rub, and I rub slowly, you might even feel it happen. Just one of the corners, right on that edge, with a little pressure, and get it to bend. Just there. Isn't that different? Keep it? Yeah, it's yours. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm gonna do though. What did I do with the pen? I'm gonna put my initials on the other side. I actually, I'll put my first name. That way, you know the name of the guy who screwed up your money. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I really Sweet. appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Well, pretty cool, Sean. Yeah, yeah, very. Sean, cool. tell us about Biobender. Well, um, first of all, it is on our site right now for nineteen ninety nine, which I, is incredible. Yeah, that <laughs> blew my amazing. mind when I saw yeah. that price. Yes. Yeah. The uh, the packaging alone looks like it should be worth that, but it's very <laughs> yeah. very nice package. The, the instructional video is really great. Um, Eric does a great job teaching, um, making you you know feel like uh, you understand exactly how to use this. Um, explains the me the moves well. Um, there's a little bit of problem with with the tutorial because they don't really focus on how you would use it in real life. Mm -hmm. um, it's when you see the live performances, you're kind of seeing the, the point of view through Eric's eyes mm -hmm. where you want to see, I, at least for me, I wanted to see Eric doing the, the work that comes with this mm -hmm. uh, because the, the gimmick itself, and if you want to see the gimmick, it's on our website. They, they just show you the gimmick right out in, in the open. But uh, they show you the, the gimmick in the trailer, don't yeah, they? Like yeah. multiple times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know exactly what you're getting when you buy it. You this. know exactly what you're getting. And, and, and that's kind of the cool thing about it and the thing that's a little uh, scary for me when, when I first saw it because it's, um, it, it, it uses a thumb tip. Um, it uses a device connected to, to, to the thumb tip, uh, which is interesting because it makes it invisible. But, man, you, it takes some confidence to perform not one thumb tip, but two thumb tips. Yeah. Um, and the fit of, of the gimmick, it's a little awkward. You, you've never felt a thumb tip like this before. Mm -hmm. So it kind of has a feeling that you're, you're, you're always uh, uh, reminded that you're wearing it. So um, it takes, I think it takes a decent amount of practice, but the ability to go uh, empty hand, seemingly empty handed mm -hmm. uh, and perform a borrowed 
uh, coin bin. I think this is kind of the only only one that really yeah, does that's that. A, that's a good way to put that. It's mm -hmm. like you are, you know, forget there's gimmicks involved. Yeah. Bare hand. Yeah. Signed coin bin. Witness, yes. Right. Now there's kind of a lot to get there, but you know that's yeah. what that is. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say this is not uh, I, because when I buy magic, I I like to buy stuff for fun because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a hobbyist and, and I just enjoy buying magic tricks. Mm -hmm. So I want to just say that this is not for beginners mm -hmm. uh, because it does take a lot of confidence to, to do it. The, one, uh, the, other, the other thing I will give them credit though on this is that they, a couple times in the demo and in the ad copy, they mentioned that it like comes with a tool so you can move it into your own thumb tips. Uh, yeah. or, or like move it around, uh, like, like let's say the, the ones that come with it are not like the correctly size for you, mm -hmm. you can uh, change that out, or you could even use them without the thumb tips, yeah, yeah. which is, I think in the demo is the way Eric performs it, which is kind of interesting, and for, I don't know, like, I've got a couple of coin bends that I do where I need a pre-bent coin, and these are very, very good gimmicks for like bending a coin at home. Like rather than like breaking out a pair of pliers yeah. and wrapping them up in like washcloths and stuff, like, there, I think this is a this is a very valuable tool. Yeah, with some creativity, you could have a nice gimmick that doesn't use the the thumb thumb tips that are involved here, uh, and just kind of perform it. Uh, for twenty dollars, I think it's probably one of the most high quality twenty dollar products I've ever ever seen. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. you get a lot for it, and mm -hmm. if it's worth the time that it would take to get it down. Uh, to where you feel comfortable going out and using it. But once you do, I know Eric does it, mm -hmm. and he fries people with it, and mm -hmm. if, if you spend the time, I think you can too. Cool. Well, thanks for the breakdown of Biobender. Uh, let's move on to our mid-range product. This is Oxbender by Manny Lennenfeld. Let's take a look at a live performance. Just take one coin, a quarter, any quarter you want. This one, and give me the rest, the rest, the rest. Okay, uh, you want to change your mind? Okay. Now, in fact, I'm going to actually ask you to sign your quarter. I have a pen somewhere right here. Okay. Put your initials on that coin. Sure. Just so we know it's your coin, right? Yeah. And blow on the ink just to make sure. Yes, I'll just take this because I'm going to need it for the next show. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Uh, okay. Do you have that? Can you show it to the people right there? Sure. Yes? All right. Perfect. Now, I want you to think of your coin, of your wish. What was that wish? A mansion, right? Mansion. Right. Can you give me that coin? And here's what I want you to do. You have that coin. I want you to reach out with your hand and I want you actually to hold it in your hand like this. Okay? Like in a closed fist, like this. Okay? Take, mm -hmm. the, take the coin. Yeah. Without the coin, you can't hold it. <laughs> All right. Just <laughs> close your hand over. The other hand over. I know my English is a little weird. He said I, I speak three languages fluently, so I hope <laughs> you understand me. All right. Uh, Nick, right? Mm -hmm. A mansion, right? Yeah. Can you feel something? Yeah, I can. Me touching you? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel something happening in there? Yes, I do. Yes, something is happening in your hand, right? Can you start rubbing the coin? It's going to happen even more and more and more. No, that's it. It just, it just happened. Can you open your hand? Tell me what happened to that coin. It bent. It bent, and it has your signature right there. It does? Yes, look at this. <laughs> It's actually bent right there, and it has the signature right here. This is your coin. Here you go. Put it in your pocket, and when you get, go back home, you will have a new mansion right there. <laughs> one second, one second, thank you. Wait, 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 Nick, 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 Nick. So this is Oxbender by Minnie Lennenfeld, and I think the, the really interesting thing about this is that it is a one-handed coin bending tool. <laughs> It is currently ninety nine ninety five on penguinmagic.com, so it's 100 bucks. It is not cheap for a mid-range product, uh, but I'm not going to show you uh, the gimmick, uh, but what I am going to do is this. Uh, the tool is now in my hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can, you can hide this in your hand. Um, 
the, the instructions on this are very, very detailed. Uh, Mini teaches not only, he teaches a couple of different handlings using this particular tool. Uh, and he teaches one where he's using a Sharpie to, as almost as like a magic wand to hide the fact that the tool is his hand. Mm -hmm. He teaches another one that I believe is almost totally barehanded. Uh, and then he teaches you a couple of other stuff, like how to use this to bend spoons, how to like, uh, there's the classic uh, spoon bend where the neck of the spoon is twisted. And he teaches you how to do key bends and breaks with this. Mm -hmm. So there, I mean, Many not like use it. he uses this, but he not only uses it for coin bends, he uses it for other stuff as well. This is a very, very high quality tool. Uh, there's some neat things about it in the design where he mentions that you don't want to like bend coins on the edges, you want the coins firmly in the device. Mm -hmm. Uh, because if you if you don't have the coin uh bent, if you don't have the coin inserted properly in the device, you could break it. But he does take pains to mention that even if you do sort of break it you can still use it. There are guide slots on this to be able to get the coin into the device while it's secretly hidden in your hand. Uh, and you can bend multiple different coin sizes, uh, quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies. Uh, if you're bending something as small as a penny, you do want to sort of hold the coin kind of in place because the slot is sized for a bunch of different coins, lar largely quarters and above. Mm -hmm. uh, but he also teaches you how to, like, if you know you're going to be bending a lot of pennies, mm -hmm. there's some mod like slight modifications you can do with like matches that will make it easier to, to guide in pennies. Uh, the only thing that he tells you not to bend with this is that coins that are made of two different metals. So like the $2 coin in Canada where it's got the silver ring on the outside uh -huh. and then the gold coin in the center. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason he points that out is that the the way that the bend happens with this particular tool, that center area would get punched out, jam, and then you would have a difficult time getting it out. What are those called? Toonies? Tooties is what yeah. those are called. Yeah. Yeah. I think it brings up a, a, an interesting thing we should probably just like mention here. Yeah. Generally, coin bends are done with a two-piece device. Yes. Yeah. Almost historically at this point. You yeah. kind of have to have leverage on two different sides. <laughs> And that's going to be the case with both of these products when we get to this one as well. Yeah. But uh, with the Oxbetter, yes, it is one device that does it. And you're going to get a different bend. Yeah. Right? Is this one bent with Oxbender? Uh, I believe it is. Okay, because like it, it, the way that it's going to work here is because it's going to mm. be bending on both sides equally. Yes. Right? Anything else that uses two things, mm -hmm. uh, this isn't good or bad no. per se. It's just that you're going to find more of bends like this one with a two hand like a two piece device it's a more gentle bend mm -hmm. uh than uh than the the bend that you get out of the ox bender and the other thing i will give for two device benders is that if there is there are a couple of different coined bend routines that use either an off center bend yeah. or uh, a more sharp bend on just sort of one side of the coin and you're not going to be able to do those with Yeah, these. that's going to be like a centered bend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it is but it is a you can get a very severe Crazy. bend. Crazy. Yeah, 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 you get big and bends out of that. It is insane how easy it is to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so I you know, we're all magicians, we all have fairly strong hands. Well, and, yeah. Yeah, but there's you're you're literally squeezing and it's it's I would say mm -hmm. That you know, when it actually comes to the physical force that you need to exert to mm. bend a coin, yeah, this is harder because it's one handed, yeah. doesn't mean you can't do it, yeah. Interesting. But with this, you have two points of leverage, do you I know can, what I mean? Well, You're using both arms. I, I think with that one, it is actually for me was, was easier because yeah. you sit it in the game and you close your hands. Boom, I always say done. that because yeah. I've seen, I've, I've, I've demoed this at tables mm -hmm. and I've yes. talked to a lot of people that have You're trouble right. doing it. Okay. okay. That's the yeah. only reason I say that. Yeah. I don't yeah. have trouble doing it. I, yeah. yeah. But, I don't either. And I have more trouble with a two handed device, yeah. especially under fire. But it's not because so much of where the you are pressure. Here, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's how, you know, your mm -hmm. comfort of getting, yeah. getting it in the right spot. Cause yeah. once you have it, it's going to be an easier time than bending it within that. Well, the, the, it's a great, I was going to say, well, the one thing I like about this is because it's kind of designed so you can't fail. Once you right. have it in your palm there, you just drop it in the slot, yeah. close your hand, yeah. Yeah. drop your hand, and then start talking. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to dislodge that, get rid of the coin, get mm -hmm. rid of the, the gimmick. Um, and then now you have a signed bent coin. So. Yeah. Because when you read the reviews on this thing, this is where you're going to end up on yeah. this. Is like a lot of people just say... It's hard to bend the coin. It's not. No. I don't think that it is. No. Uh, but I would say that it is probably the toughest one to do. I, I will. I, and the, the other thing I'll say 
is, so A, I think that it's easier to get to a point where you can bend this one because you can focus on developing those muscles. I think it takes practice. It yeah. does. It, it, and having done a lot of metal bending myself, you do have to build up strength in certain areas yeah. of your of your yeah, hands yeah. in order to do certain bends. Yeah. It's, what, it doesn't matter if it's coin yeah. bends, key bends, spoon bends, fork bends, whatever it is, you gotta work on building up that strength. Yeah. Uh, with all three of these devices, we are talking about a coin can be handed out, signed, taken back, and then bent. So yes. the coin that they are signing is the coin that you are bending. I, I will say, this is the only one where you're not going like, look, I can't bend it, or bending it's, you're, you're not using, there, at no point do both hands ever come in contact with the coin. Mm -hmm. uh, but enough about Oxbender, let's move on to CoinVex 3 before we, uh, before we talk about all three of these, and let's take a look at a live performance of CoinVex 3. I've got some coins here. Now, we can use my coins or we can use yours. Do you want to use mine or yours? Are you uh, okay? Yours. <laughs> okay, uh, take a 10p. On the 10p, I want you to write your name. Okay. That's it. If you write on a flat surface, it's easier. Yep. And what is your name? Laura. 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 Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on the 2p, I want you to draw a stick person. And the stick person is actually going to represent your inner strength in this experiment. But draw the stick person so it looks like you. So get it to look like you as, as much as possible. Uh, Alendi. And on there, I want you to draw a stick person on the 2P. And the stick person's got to look like you. So get it as close to looking like you as possible. <laughs> so it's got to represent you in this experiment, you see. <laughs> That's pretty good. Very good, mate. I like the face. <laughs> okay. So we've got the stick person that represents you and your name as well. Hold out your right hand. Put your other hand over the top as well. And seal the coins in there. So seal it up at the back and at the front, just there. I want you to name one of the coins. So you can name the, the 2P or, or the 10p, it's up to you. Name one of the coins. So, so I'll just say like 10p. The 10p, yeah. it's fine. Is that the one you want? You could change your mind if you like. Yeah, 10p. The 10p. So the 10p is the one with your name on, yeah? Just for a second, I want you to visualize that stick person. There's a lot of MDs, CEOs these days, they're going on courses taught visualization techniques. Taught that if they visualize success, it helps them to achieve success. So you've got to visualize what I'm explaining to you right now. And I want you to visualize that stick person picking up the coin with your name on, the, the 10 P, that's the one you said, yeah? So the stick person's picking up my... Stick person's picking it up. Just visualize that actually happening inside your hand right now. That stick person picking up the coin inside your hand. And just look at me for a second and just think E-N-D-B, E-N-D-B. That's it, psychologically, your mind rearranges the letters, E-N-D-B. Good. Stay just there. Tell me when you feel it. Is it like a pop? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Yeah. Just trap them both inside your hands so you keep them inside there. Have you heard of Reiki? No. Reiki, hands on healing, yeah. 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 Um, just keep your hands together so the palms align. Because Reiki masters believe there's different energy points in the body, like, like the that. top of the head. If you want to put it like that, that's fine, as long as the coins are between your palms. Reiki masters believe there's different energy points, like the top of the head and the palms of the hands. And you have to align the energy points to create energy. And it's a little bit weird, it's kind of experimental, but you'll feel this happen. As we align the energy points, it's going to seem weird. It's going to be like the coins in your hand actually develop an energy like they want to move. You're going to feel them want to move like this. It'd be kind of weird. And one thing you'd be aware of when I bring my hands closer like that, it gets a little bit warmer yes. around your hands. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but if I take my hands away, okay, that's weird. <laughs> it stops. It is weird, yeah. isn't it? And I want you to be aware of the coins inside your hand. They're going to kind of develop an energy like they want to move. It's going to be a little bit scary, but don't get scared. Okay. There's nothing supernatural. This is purely natural. You're going to feel them kind of want to move like this. And what I want you to do, just forget to remember. Remember to forget. Forget to remember. Remember to forget. 
Now you signed both of those coins. It was a 10p, which you said, and what was the other one? 2p. 2p. Uh, have I touched those coins? <laughs> and you signed both of them, yeah? yeah? You said the 10p. Mm -hmm. You're not going to believe this. Look at the 10p. Actually, look at what's happened to it inside your hand. It is actually bent. It's a weird thing. Just lift off your hands. Look at the 10p, the one you said. Look at the coin. 2p is OK, but look at the 10p. Check it out for yourself. <laughs> Let me try and get it to go a little bit further. If you watch, I'll get it to go further. If I just rub, oh that's God. it, it's still going. <laughs> still going. Right over. Hold out your right hand for me. Just put it on top of the coin on the table. And look at my hand just there. What's happening to my fingers? I think it's stopped now. Hold your hand out like this. Put it on top of the 2p. Just look at my hand just there. What's happening to my fingers? And as I pass my hand over the top, you'll actually feel the edges of the coin lifting, lifting, pushing on the palm of your hand. And as you push down, the coin will want to push up more. As you push down, the coin will want to push up more. I haven't even touched the coin. Lift up. Have a look. And it's the coin you signed, remember, the 2P. Have a look at it. Now, oh, yeah, look. Can you see? Yeah. That's so weird. Still signed. And you can keep both of those as a souvenir. Not funny. That's not funny. That's, I don't even know what to say. I'm sick. I feel physically sick. Nick, tell us about this one. Coin vexed, third generation, David Penn. I guess the first thing to get out of the way is that, um, you know, what's different between three yeah, and two yeah, and one? Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, basically, and this is why this is great, the part of the reason why. I think there's a lot of reasons why this is great. But number one is that. This is just one of David Penn's routines that he does mm -hmm. all the time. He's been doing it now for, I mean, I, I want to say maybe going on 20 years or yeah, something. Yeah. So he's just continually improved it. Um, the gimmick has largely stayed the same, but his routine has changed and like minor things about the gimmick have actually changed to be improved over time. So um, you, the reason we'd want to get this one is for the instructional video hands down. Mm -hmm. The old gimmicks will, and things will work, but the new gimmick is, is probably the best one as well. Mm -hmm. I know, um, I mean, there's no secret here. It, it is, it is going to be on the Sharpie marker that's mm -hmm. in play, which is great because you could argue that, yes, this is an empty hand, empty hand bend. Mm -hmm. So is this in a sense because you need the Sharpie in play to mm -hmm. sign anyway. anyway, right? Even with this, there's going to be a Sharpie that's in play. So essentially, the, the, the strong thing about this is that you don't have to palm anything, you know? Oxbender, you're gonna have to palm a, mm -hmm. a thing in one of your hands. There is no palming in this routine because when you bring the Sharpie out, you've brought everything that you need out into play to do the bend. You're gonna get the coin signed, it's gonna come back to you. The routine that I'm assuming we just saw, because we're gonna cut this together a little bit later, yeah. I would suggest that we watch the David Penn routine because it's a, it's a double coin bend routine. There's a mm -hmm. couple different on there. Um, it's really a masterclass in pointing people's uh, attention mm -hmm. to things that are happening. And while they're here, you're here mm -hmm. doing the dirty work. And that's the best part is that there's not a whole lot of dirty work because it's all done with this. Yeah. Right. And one other piece. But I know it just seems like this, but that it also mm -hmm. rides along with this a lot for, for the journey. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to get in and out of and... Um, you know, it's going to work very similar to the way that this works, mm. but I believe that it's just a lot more hidden because you can have this out in the open and there's... Which it the, would be anyway. Which it yeah. would be anyway. So it's a great routine with David Penn. We have one coin, kind, so one coin signed yeah. and it's going to bend in their hand and yeah. then you can do some more optical bends and then it's going to... The second coin is going to bend under the spectator's hand. Um, and that's what you're going to learn. You're going to learn all those subtleties. 
um, because these are routines that David Penn has done mm -hmm. forever. There's a couple other routines on there. One from Mark Kirstein, not Mark, Mark Kirstein. Oh, Mark Laval. Sorry. Mark <laughs> Kirstein is good too, but I'm not sure if he does any uh, coin bending. Yeah. And then uh, Mark Laval and then he Amit. He uses a phone to yeah, bend. Yeah. yeah, man, if Kirstein comes up with the phone bend yeah, app. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and, um, and then uh, Amit Badiani has this really cool hypnosis routine that you're going nice. to learn on there. Perfect. But you're learning people's routines that they've done for 20 years yeah. with this gimmick. L let's also address real quick. We say premium, it's $120. $120, not so much yeah. further than yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and I believe that there are options to buy just the instructional video for this. Yeah, and I think those were just put together for people that had Coinvex had 1 or yeah. 2 or, you know, if, I don't know. If you're buying Coinvex third generation, you should get the get whole the thing. Get the gimmick in the DVD. Yeah. yeah. It, get it, the gimmick yeah. in the DVD. And we know for a fact that David really does this stuff. I, yeah, you I could it. argue that the DVD in this case, and you can't do this for a lot of products, but yeah. the art, the DVD might be worth $40. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? For the for the information that you're getting on here. So uh, yeah, I, amazing product in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's, let's talk about these three and, and sort of compare and contrast them a little bit because I think these two are very similar. It's just that this, Coinvex is sort of out in the open and in play, whereas Biobender is not. Now, I, there was a previous product to this called the Superman Coin Bend that was very similar to the BioBender yeah. that was always secret but operated very similarly. And mm -hmm. that's one that I used for years. Uh, but I, I kind of like if I'm, yeah, this is 20 bucks, but that, that right there is, I kind of feel more comfortable with something that is hiding in plain sight that I can get in and out of. I like watching people that, I like learning stuff that people have done forever. Yeah. You know, that's why a lot of the old like L and L videos are the best yeah, because you know those were all routines that those guys had done for 30 years. You know, like that's what you're getting with this. And and that's rare in, in yeah. magic products today, right? Yeah. I would say I would say that Oxbender is one of those that many does these things. Oh, like when you watch yeah. the performance, you can tell that this is something. I mean, many bends everything. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's. <laughs> he just looks at stuff yeah, and it yeah. bends, right? And the story behind the creation of the Oxbender is interesting because many has a, a, a bender that is hidden inside of a marker mm -hmm. like that one, and he had somebody who twigged to the fact that. They didn't know how the Sharpie was involved, but they knew the Sharpie was involved. And mm -hmm. that is what spurred the creation of Oxbender, was to create something where mm -hmm. he could bend something without a marker involved and one-handed. One because that was his solution to that, oh, this thing was involved. Because he got busted once. I mean, he mm -hmm. tells you straight up in the, in the <laughs> tutorial. Like, That's funny. But it's, because, he didn't get busted right away. He, got, yeah. but like, the, he did the performance like... I can't. I can't remember. I just watched it this morning again, and it's like in his deli, or like, mm -hmm. like, like it's somewhere he went a lot. Someone's like, "Manny, you bend stuff. Like, please bend stuff." And then a week later, like, Manny was at that re establishment again, and the guy was like, "I don't know how you did it, but that marker was involved." So he mm -hmm. tells you straight up that's where this came from. Mm -hmm. um, that is. I don't think that's common, though. No. 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 Okay. Uh, <laughs> so it's. It is interesting that this is. This is built as a response to stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Interesting, yeah. Uh, but he does do this a lot, you can tell. Right, right. And I think with, with, with Biobender, one thing that just kind of came to mind is that this is the only one designed by a real coin god. I mean, you know yeah, I mean? Eric Jones. Yeah. Eric Let's Jones. not discount the fact that Eric yeah. Jones is on this, yeah. Uh, yeah. On this video here. Yeah. So, I mean, Eric, because I know Eric used, I believe Eric used the Superman bender, or at least I feel like I saw him in yeah. a demo for something like that or something similar. Um, well, the choreography of this is is really like that of, of a, a coin magician. I, yes. Um, and where the other ones are, you can tell, come from mentalists. Um, and both these guys are obsessed with metal bending. Yes, and or, yeah in David's case, wine glass bending or whatever. Which, you know. the wine glass, I wish we could have like a, a matchup of wine glass bends, but there's yeah, only, there's refraction only. is the only one, but it's an amazing routine. Yeah, but yeah. let's focus on yeah. these, yeah. Yeah. Um, but my, my, I, I'd have to say that what uh, this does that eliminates the, the worst part of, of any kind of coin bend mm -hmm. uh, using a gimmick is that moment where you have to get into place. Uh, because yeah. that when you're talking and you're performing and maybe you're funny or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you have that awkward moment where you're, you've, something is clearly happening. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it'll go smooth. Sometimes it, it doesn't get into place all the, all, mm -hmm. uh, it, very easily. This solves that problem because it's just you drop it right in the slot, you close mm -hmm. your hand, and then you're completely done. 
Uh, you are palming something uh, fairly large, but I think that that this yeah, it is, is a full just, hand palm. Yeah, it yeah. is a real uh, breakthrough in these types of, of yeah. devices. Well, and then that's what the difference between this and that is, then, because that moment performed correctly doesn't exist. No, in this you're right, routine, you're right. You're right. Uh, the, the spectator is continually always looking at something more interesting mm -hmm. than what you're yeah. possibly doing. Right. So yeah. I've I've never been able to use a device like either of these where I didn't feel like I was like exerting a lot of pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and maybe that's just like the way I'm built. I mean like I work out, but I still like even we were playing with these over there and like I was having a hard time getting a solid bend. Yeah. Um, and that's just me. But whereas the moment that I put a coin in this, I was able to get it to bend. Mm. Now I've I've used devices like these to pre-bend coins for routines. Because yeah, yeah. my, my preference for coin bends has always been to ring in a pre-bent coin. Mm -hmm. um, even even if it's a signed coin routine, I'm doing stuff to hide the bend from my audience. Whereas and, and I I will use these tools to get that bend because it's just much more convenient. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've always had trouble doing that in front of an audience member, and that's but that's just a my own limitation yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've had that same issue too, and, yeah. and that's why I, I I do like this so much because it's designed mm -hmm. to not fail and just be super easy, and anybody can do it mm -hmm. within minutes of buying it, kind of thing. The the only other the only knock that I will give this one compared to the other two <clears throat> is that this one is scary when you open it's it up. It's terrifying. When you, when you open when you open that up and you look at the gimmicks. I mean, if you which go, you can see on you the screen, yeah. yeah, go go to the product page for this and look at it. You just be like, I have no idea how <laughs> this. Oh, I'm going to hide this thing. Right. Uh, and after watching the tutorial and going through it, this is a great product. But it just it scared the willies out of me when we oh, we got these in the mail. We opened the package. I was like, I, I don't, <laughs> I want, <laughs> I want nothing to do with this. But it's a, it's still a great product. Yeah, and I and I will say, as hard as it was for me to to really get it down, um, it I was able to do it in a day mm -hmm. to where I kind of felt comfortable performing it for a family member. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, it wasn't ready for the stage, mm -hmm. but I think that it it is one of those things that. Um, once you get used to wearing it, then you're you're set to perform. So, or are we set to make our picks? Sure. All right, uh, Nick, give us give us your pick. <clears throat> it's got to be Coinbex three. Okay. Why? Because uh, because of the the experience. Yeah. Most likely, uh, it's the routines are too good. Mm -hmm. Basically, the routine you're buying the routines on here, and the the gimmick is time tested. You don't have to palm anything in this routine, mm -hmm. and your the routines that you're going to learn are going to put you in a position to succeed. Mm -hmm. So you know if, if you're somebody that's like like me, I've never put like a coin bend in any in any walk around stuff. Mm -hmm. But when I watch this, I'm like, I can see how I could do it now. Yeah. Um, because I don't have to think about the routines. They're done. They're perfect, mm -hmm. you know. And you have a couple to choose from on here. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, there is a lot of value on just the pure knowledge on this, and the gimmick is just refined to perfection. So to me, it's Coinbex three. I think my pick is going to be Oxbender. I know it's the one that I got the most experience with here on this table, but a the routines I think are great. Uh, I like something that challenges me a little bit, and I think that uh, at least as far as routining and doing some of the more advanced like uh, palming stuff does, I may not always do this routine, but the the idea of having to hide this in my hand uh, excites me. But more than anything else, it's the fact that I don't have to do this move. The fact that it's in one hand. The routine, the way many teaches these routines, the idea of palming this sort of you know large-ish device to 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 bend a single coin in one hand, uh, I think it's well hidden. I think it's a good routine. Uh, but to me, this has just got so many advantages in the way it works and the way the routine goes with the, when you're taking the coin uh, the coin back, handing the marker out, getting the bend in, and getting it back out. I think this is the, really the way to go for me. I just I. It all comes down to eliminating that moment for me, mm -hmm. and Oxbender just ticks that box. I agree. Uh, Oxbender would be my choice. Um, it's 
like like they say in the infomercials, you set it and you you forget it. Um, I it's so easy and it's actually satisfying to bend the coins. Mm -hmm. It's a great feeling. It does have a good feel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's weird, but I, I like that when 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 I buy products. But um, I just like the, the idea of being able to have this, even if you're seated at a table. Mm -hmm. Leave the table for a second, bend it, uh, and and bring the coin back out, mm -hmm. bring it into play because it's a sign coin. It yeah. doesn't. Those sort of things don't matter. That mm -hmm. everything needs to be out in the open. Um, I just think the it's just a huge breakthrough for the way that this is designed to make it just one hand because you can use that other hand to uh, uh, misdirect and and you can focus on a presentation. Which that's the most important thing about coin bins is mm -hmm. the lack of uh, presentations that usually go with them. Uh, and it's not so much about this moment mm -hmm. and sort of showing that you know hey this is really this is a strong coin or whatever mm -hmm. none of that stuff exists with this um it's one-handed it's a different design than anything else i mm -hmm. think it's the best coin device uh, that's ever been made uh well that's two votes for oxbender one voice uh, one vote for coinvex third generation but all three great products please let us know in the comments below your thoughts on uh, these three different coin bending devices and tell us if there's something we missed or, uh, or something you disagree with us on also be sure to hit that bell and the the, the, the subscribe button uh, so that you can find out whenever we release more of these magic matchups and let us know if there's other, uh, any other sets of devices that you'd like us to compare contrast and match up thanks very much for watching uh, uh, on behalf of Nick and Sean as always we'll see you next time.